This was the final stop for Mr. Obama at the end of his first foreign trip since the start of his second presidential term. And he rounded it off with some tourism, heading to the ancient Jordanian city of Petra, which he described as amazing. But I think what he's going to be boasting about when he gets home is what he achieved in his final few minutes before leaving Israel. That's when he got the Israeli prime minister on the telephone apologizing to the Turkish prime minister for that deadly military raid on a Turkish ship heading to Gaza with activists on board three years ago. Now diplomatic relations are to be restored between their two countries, which are both key U.S. allies and regional heavyweights. There was no such breakthrough, though, when it came to Israel and the Palestinians. Mr. Obama did meet the leaders of both sides, and he said that he hoped that in future um, there could be a mechanism developed that would get them back to peace talks. Here in Jordan, he addressed the war in neighboring Syria, saying he was worried that Syria could become an enclave for extremism because of the chaos there. And he promised to work with the U.S. Congress to try to raise an extra $200 million in funds to help with the Syrian refugee crisis.